Hi guys, this is Biohazard, and today I'm going to show you how to make yarn falls using macrame knotting techniques. Um, I've always been a little bit iffy about the way they look because of the lack of volume, and even when people use thick braids, they just didn't look full enough for me. Um, so one day, I was making bracelets like these. They're macrame double spirals, and they look like DNA strands, and I thought that maybe they would look good with the yarn falls, and they did. After a while of making them, people started to buy them, and the more exposure it got, the more people asked how I make them, and I've never really gotten around to. I apologize for that, by the way. But luckily, a Threadbanger forum member, Gothic Tanny, ordered um, a pair of hair accents for me, and today I get to show you guys how I make it. The materials you're going to need will depend on how many strands you're going to make and how thick it's going to be. For bigger projects, you can always use bigger hair elastics, elastic bands, and ribbons. You're going to need two hair elastics, a tape measure, a pair of scissors, and your choice of yarn in single or color combinations. Today we're going to use black and purple. Go. This is the first half of the project that I already finished yesterday. As you can see, it's a lot fuller than a regular braided hair fall. And you can choose to make this even thicker, or shorter, or longer, or you can make it fuller by adding more strength. First thing you're going to need to do is determine the size of the hair that you want to do. For this project, I'm going to use 22 inches, but I'm going to give it a 3 inch allowance, so I'm going to use 25 inches, and double that length. Now this is going to serve as your stem core, it'll determine the size of your hair fall and you're going to need about 10 of these and I've already cut 9 so you just put them together fold it and put it away these are going to be the outer pieces of your yarn falls I've already cut and measured each of them and they measure up to 11 yards each they're going to be hard to work with so I've rolled them up a little bit and what you're going to do is use the open ends and just make a simple knot and do it with the other side. We're going to use this open end for the start so that we have a nice rounded end just in case you need more yarn you can just slip it in there and continue to work without having any disturbing knots around your stuff. Now I can start putting it together. You take your elastic and you give it a good stretch first. And then you're going to take your yarn, slip it from under the elastic, and pull the whole thing through. This will secure it in place. And you do it with the second one. Take it under and slip it through. Now from here, you're going to open your black yarn and slip your purple yarn through it and pull and secure. The next step is to insert your stem and you can do that from the bottom to the top and make sure it's centered and make sure that the bottom is even. Now we can start building our yarn fall. It's just like making the little bracelets only this time it's extra large. Now, you're going to want to start from right to left and left to right. You can choose whatever side you want to start first, and usually um, I use start from the right, and you'll have a spiral going counterclockwise. And I can get started now. The first thing you're going to do is transfer your black yarn from the right to the left, and you're simply going to put it to the right side, making a letter P. Now you're going to take your purple yarn and put it over the black thread, making a number four, and slipping it under the stem to the right. Next, you're going to put it through the loop and pull to secure. It's a little tricky when you're starting, but after a while it's going to start to form the shape and everything will come together. You just have to make sure that all the strands are nice and even. There we go. Tight. 
tighten up a little bit, but not too tight. So you have a nice, thick shape. Okay. Now you're going to repeat the process, but this time we're going to start with the purple yarn. When you choose a side, always stick with that side to start with, or else you're going to end up with a flat yarn fall instead of a spiral one. So let's do that again. You're going to take your purple, purple yarn, I'm sorry, and put it over the stem and to the left, and form your letter P. Now take your black yarn and put it over the purple, and making a number four, and slipping it under the stem, and through the loop. Now you pull it tight again, make sure it's nice and secure. Now you're going you're gonna to repeat the same process all the way down. It's the same thing over and over again. So you see it's really simple, and I'm going to show you one more time. You take your black thread, put it into the left, over the stem, forming your letter P, and then take your purple yarn, put it over the black yarn, and under the stem, then through the loop, and pull to tighten. 